ought to do this. Why don't you do this? Instead of asking me, yes. why don't you ask the wife and kids of those police officers if they shot too why quick? Why don't you why, just be, would you shut up a minute and listen Good to me? Lord. Hey, that's not necessary. <laughs> you're getting way out yeah, of control. Hey, don't. You're getting way out of Eric, control. I'm just saying these normal people. Right, just listen to me. And Eric, I don't need you to, to well, chastise me. I don't know what war we're in. Let me let me let me say something. Why don't you ask? You want me to read this ten names again? Why don't you get out there and ride in a patrol car sometime? Doesn't matter where I live. I live in Caddo Parish. So you don't live in Elby Road and start Caddo Parish Motor. Well, then you can't ask a question. Why don't you? You can ask him after the meeting. Twenty-nine shots. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's three for. Okay. Go have it at the convention center if you want to have an open forum. I'm sorry I told you to shut no, up. No, it's not. That was inappropriate. I'm just so passionate about police officers and there's about. and what it. I've it. seen them shot. I've had to notify okay, families, well, and it's something very real to me. So I get so passionate with yes, it. So I apologize for my outburst, and you have every right to ask questions. I mean, I don't know about here. But, but I can answer those as best I can at some other forum, you know, if you'd like to call the office. I just don't understand how 29 shots was necessary. I said to ask him after the meeting's over. Well, this like, is for Alibi Road Estate. Like There's the door if you want to right leave. Now, if, if that's okay, sir. No, I'm I said you okay, can. So. You can go hit the door. This is for Alibi Road Estate. Well, let's get out of here. I think anybody who, who don't stand up for what sheriff, my, my nephew was murdered and, and my cousin was murdered in 1986. I tried to talk to you three times about my ne about my cousin's murder and you turned me away every time, Sheriff. What could you fact. could you if, tell me your name? If he had a good My name is Nick Alexander, sir. I live in Bivy, Louisiana, 1704 North Pine Street. My uh, cousin is Shane Alexander, murdered March 25th, 1986. I've talked to you three different times. The man who murdered him is still walking the streets of Bivy, Louisiana, and you ain't done a damn thing about it. Well, I think you're a little no. passionate about that. No, I'll leave on that. You don't know no, what I I've done about know, it. Sheriff. Goodbye. Are you ever going to answer the question? Hey, man. You can ask him after the meeting's over. I can ask him whenever I'm I'm telling you, you can't. This is Elgin Road Estates. We had the meeting without you. Do you want to have a meeting? Have one. Thank you very much. I'll be, well, glad. I'll be glad to answer the question. Now, does anybody that lives in Elgin Road Estates have a question or anything about the candidates? If you don't mind me asking, where do you live? No way or what street? <laughs> 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 Can we see your driver's <laughs> license? I'm cold council certified. I went through the sheriff's academy in 2006. Okay, I'm a state police officer. My question is for both of them? Yes. Yeah. Okay. My question is my parents' house was broke into. Yes. They live on the north end of the church. Okay. okay, the house was broke into. Everything was stolen. Vehicles stole out the driveway. I called the sheriff's department. Y'all came made it before. Okay. So I started house sitting out there after that, thinking the burgers was gonna come back, but sometimes they do. I sat out there for five nights and stayed up all night long and never slept a wink looking out the window on Bill and Scott Street Road. You know what car I never seen come by there? One of your patrol cars. Five nights now, a, a, a cattle patrol car never came by. Can you explain that? Well, I can explain, and <clears throat> I didn't realize it was going to be a complaint session, but about each case. But I, but I can explain. I don't know that you were watching all the time. I don't know anything about that. But I, I will tell you. I didn't call you a liar. I don't know if you dozed off. I don't know anything about where you were looking. But I do know this. I know that Kettle Parish is 900 square miles. Mm -hmm. I know that if we have a bad car wreck, that everybody on the north end is going to be tied up on the car wreck. Mm -hmm. I know that we don't have our entire patrol force of patrol is smaller than one shift of the Shreveport Police Department to cover 900 square miles. Mm -hmm. And so I apologize if we didn't show up there. I don't. I, I apologize if we weren't able to solve it. Evidently, we're doing a lot of good things. We we, <coughs> we dropped the ball there. And I wish you had called me rather than try to bring it up here in a, in a open court. I did, sir. I'll return every phone sir, call that I get. Sir, I did call you. I came and saw you in your office. You told me about my mom's car and that your detective had crushed that top dollar. Oh, and your name is what? Pennell? Well, yeah. Oh, I know. You, you're a, and yeah, the you're leading the charge up north. You don't understand the car was, you don't understand. We yes, talked about that and talked about I that. And I've talked to my staff about that. 
And and you you're never going to understand how all that happened. Yes, I did, because I was there. No, I mean you're, you're, you're the detective. Andy Strawbridge called me and said I was here at Salt Dollar when the car came in on the dolly trailer. I said, Why did y'all rush me? He said I had to find the VIN number. Andy Strawbridge told me that. I had to find the VIN number. I said, Why did you have to turn the car apart? He said, Because it's on the frame of the motor block, which I know. But they crushed my mom's Lincoln town car. She just passed away. That car was still in the middle to me. I come and saw you. You wouldn't even seem to meet me. You sent Captain Gunn over there to talk to him. He'd apologize for your detective's wrong decision in the field. Now, and then we did talk about it, though. You and I talked about it. Okay. Just, just do this later. Uh, this is a question. Oh, good. Hey, you have to admit to about your family and everything. What management experiences do you have? to run a sheriff's office. That's a good question. So, so obviously, so the sheriff's got 40 years plus law, law enforcement experience, but that's it. So I only have 12 years law enforcement experience, but accompanied by that, I think I can do a better job of dealing with the public because I've run businesses. I've run businesses for the last 20 plus years. I've dealt with the citizens on a daily basis. I've done, I'm a commercial pilot, so people entrust me to, to fly them and, and and tr trust me with their lives already as far as that's concerned. But as far as when it comes to business, contracts, negotiation, civil law, things of that nature, I've been involved in that. And I think I've seen the other side of it where obviously, in, in no disrespect, someone who has 42 years law enforcement experience or 40 years plus, that's commendable and that's great. And you've done the same thing for so long. And I think that makes him good at being a police officer. I think that when it comes to being a leader, you need more than just being a police officer. I don't think these deputies need someone to be able to say, hey, I've got more experience in this and that. I think they have more respect for someone who who automatically come in and they know that I'm no better than they are. I don't have more experience than they are and <clears throat> things of that nature, and I'll listen. And I think that's what needs to happen. I think we've got so many great deputies that have, that have a lot of potential, and they do a great job every single day, and I grew up with a large majority of them. But I think they need to be able to, to use their discretion and not feel like they're being critiqued or, or, or or, or, or run with an iron fist. I, I, they need to be able to do their job and, and to be trusted to do their job. And then a good leader sits and listens. And if there's any concern with the deputies, then we need to listen. What's your name again? I'm sorry. Hi, Angie. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi. Um, how many, I know you said you have ran business and stuff. How many employees have you had? What's the most at one time of employees have you had? Uh, and are these successful businesses or have any of them had to go bankrupt? Name? Cindy? I'm sorry, I just want to know who I'm talking to. Okay. See, uh, I've, had, I've had, I've run. What's the most employees at one time? I don't you? know. I don't know what the most 10, employees. 10, 20, 50,000? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just, you don't I, know, I, I know where you're going with this, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to play the game. So, <laughs> what? sorry. And you live in Hillary Road? Yes. I'm sorry. And, and were they I'm successful sorry. businesses or did any I'm of them have to take bankruptcy? Is, I'm a, I'm no, man, I've, I've been in business for 20 years. And then when I was divorced, this is great because I now we're getting into my civil records. I'd like to see I'd like to see his opened up and unsealed also. So let's do this. To be fair, I want everyone to go to the clerk of court and look look me up, research every single thing you can about my divorce, me fighting for my fighting for my children, and and never missing a dollar dollar a day in child support. And then I want you to look up his and ask him why why are your records sealed, Sheriff? That's really. Not pertaining. I'm a that citizen. Pertain I'm a taxpayer. Hey, why are your records sealed? That, that Speaking, has nothing to do. I've, I've with got his records in my briefcase. Can I go get them? Yeah, let's get my records. No, his. Oh. Yeah, where are your no. sheriff? Why are you sealed? <laughs> no, sheriff. Let me ask you something. Okay, that's you, not. Did, did I don't you think you that's, not, that's not where this. I don't think that this is supposed to be. Filmed. Did you choke your ex-wife and break her arm? Absolutely. I've never chosen. Then let's see your records. Okay, this is crazy. Yes. This, this That's allegations. I have no idea where my question was about the civil. Let's, let's bring it back to some civil. Show your ex-wife and break her arm. Why are your records sealed? What are you hiding? What are you afraid of? Why the time is it? You know, it's going to be so big before it's over that it's just uh, you won't be able to have a picture on a billboard. Get that Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Man said I can't ask. Okay. Well, you can't ask. Sit down. Can I have any questions now? No. Okay. Miss D. Thank y'all for thank y'all for coming.